Big Potato from Versace Boy ENT. I'm here with Chad Barnes, coach of 17U Empire. Yes, sir. Georgia-based AAU team. Yeah. Coach, that was an impressive win y'all had over Game Elite 17U. Big time win. You had about six players total on the mm -hmm. team. Six. Yeah, so a very short bench. Yeah. So how were you able to come out with a W? My guys, man, they play hard, man. They've been working hard the last two or three months. I mean, you can tell that their work is paying off. They're starting to learn how to play together as a unit. We got stops. Game Elite was a little cold out there but we were able to really get the ball moving, get some easy points, some easy looks, but we drew a lot of fouls. We played an overall fantastic game. The defense in the second half as a unit, man, that was outstanding, man. I, just thinking about it gives me chills. We're looking good as an organization right now, man. It's a quality win. Game Elite was such a big team, like physically imposing team. Yeah. What did you tell your team before the game to help them work through that and not be fearful? We were gonna play fast, we were gonna front the post, we were gonna rotate a lot, and especially when you double down, a lot of guys don't want to help the helper that, that double down. So I just encourage them to make that extra rotation, which they did, man. They bought in, and you can tell that competitive nature to be somebody to a spot. Getting defensive rebounds to close out defensive possessions. And just the way that we shared it after that, man, that's the way basketball is supposed to be played. They made me look like I knew what I was doing. Coach, you knew what you was doing, man. I could just listen to you and hear that high IQ coming off of you. Yeah. So I'd love to know from you, what would you say separates a D1 talent from an NBA prospect? An NBA prospect, that five minutes that he he walks into the gym, you're going to be like, okay, man, that kid can play. So either he's explosive, he's tall, or his talent level is just crazy. He can do a myriad of things out there on the court. He can get a shot off any type of way. Now, the college guy, he makes it to the Division One level. He's going to be about his business. But it starts to get to a point where every year you have to separate yourself. And then they have a crop coming in behind you. So it's like a pyramid. Some guys are not going to make it to that top, even though they are good enough to do that. And then they have to go on this journey. So to me, the difference is the guys that get a break, the exposure that you get, and honestly, your numbers, man. You got to be able to hit at a high clip, analytics involved as well. Like, you have to be able to show and prove, but a lot of my guys, man, you can tell that they are bought in and they know what it takes to try to get to that collegiate level. I think my team does a good job of that. I'm going to keep working with them to try to make it to get to that professional level. This is a grassroots organization in its developmental base. And any kid that I, I feel like I have a chance to make it to that next level, I love to help them, evaluate them. I'm a coach. Yes, sir. Yeah, I enjoy doing it. Put your hands off my Versace.